Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I'm going to show you a fun little card you can make with these stitched rectangle dies from the So Sweetly dies. And it does come in a bundle with the So Sentimental stamp set. So, but I'm making Valentine's cards, so I'm also going to be using the Heartfelt bundle, which comes with the stamp set and these two heart punches. It's a punch pack. You can just get the punches if you'd like. And then I'm also using just one stamp from the Heart to Heart stamp set. So you, I think you will just love these little mini cards. I think they are so cute. In fact, I have already made quite a few of them because they're just a lot of fun. So here's the card, here's the mini card. And you can see that it's got um, a straight edge on this left side and then it's scalloped all the way around. And I made this from this die right here. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. I am taking the piece of cardstock, this is real red, and it is six inches by four and a quarter. Fold that in half, and then let's pull in the um, die cutting machine. I'm using a Big Shot. You can use whichever machine that you have set up in here. Here is the basics for setting this up. So I have my magnetic platform, I have a clear acrylic pad, now I'm setting up, it's folded. I am setting this up so that this right edge is not on the cardstock. So you can see it is off of the cardstock, just right along the edge, but the other three sides are over the cardstock. And then I'm going to run that through. And then I like to send it back through. It is cutting through two pieces of cardstock. Okay. When you're done with that, and you pull this off and get rid of some of my little scraps, I can pull that off, and you have an edge that's still folded, and there's your base for your cardstock. So I've taken from the um, from the heart specialty paper. It's got a foil finish to it. I've taken this piece of designer series paper. And this is cut to two and a half by three and three quarters, and this fits right inside of this little stitched area. I do have all of the measurements on my website at mystamplady.com. Okay, so I am taking, I'm gonna pull these in so you can see, I'm gonna take the third from the smallest scalloped die, and let's run this through the Big Shot. Look at that darling paper and it's all scalloped it's so cute so we will put that right in the center of this card front yeah I think I'll put the arrows pointing downward okay now I am going to stamp underneath the sentiment and this is from the heartfelt and it says from from my heart to yours flirty flamingo that coordinates with the cardstock pack and then you because this is photopolymer I like to take our stamp and pierce pad you could also use something like a mouse pad give it a little bit of cushion and then it will stamp you'll you will get a better image okay let's stamp that right in the center and from this set you can use this die and we will cut that out so here's my sentiment and put that back. You can see how valuable this little die set is with even without the coordinating set. I stamped this and just fussy cut that out. I'm gonna put some uh, adhesive on the back. Put that so it's shooting right behind our sentiment. I'm not going to do my inside, but you could always add a little bit to the inside like I did on my sample. So let me show you that here. So I have the same one, and I just put a little bit of stamping on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So cute, I just absolutely love this. The next card I'm going to show you, I have already done that basic cut um, for my card base, but look at that gorgeous. This is that Parisian embossing folder. Beautiful, works with Valentine's so wonderfully. So I have already taken and cut it out the same way I did the first time. So if you want to see that back, you can go back and just replay that. Here's that Parisian folder. It's a 3D folder. It's gorgeous. And so I'm, you know, I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue 
When there's embossing, I like the liquid glue. It seems to hold a bit better for me. And then I am just placing this in the front. And I'm going to make this card landscape rather than doing it the portrait position like I did my other card. Okay. So let's pull that flirty flamingo in again. With the flirty flamingo, I am going to stamp the heart from the heartfelt. I have really, really loved this heartfelt stamp set. In fact, I have a whole heartfelt online class that you can find on my website, mystamplady.com. Okay, so we can set that or stamp that. Now I'm going to pull that scalloped punch rather than a die. This heartfelt bundle comes with punches rather than dies. So we'll just center that in that punch and punch. This is one of the heart paper heart doilies you can get in the January through June mini catalog right now. And I put a little glue on the back. If you were on my catalog mailing list, you should have received yours by now. And I hope you did. If you didn't, be sure to let me know. And if you don't have a demonstrator that you work with, feel free to go to mystamplady.com or send me an email at chris at mystamplady.com to request one. Send those out free of charge to um, new customers. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little trick. I already stamped this on a piece of vellum. I thought putting down a piece of white cardstock was just too much of a block, so I decided to do it on a piece of vellum. I stamped it ahead of time because it, vellum takes a little bit more time to dry. And of course, if you've worked with vellum at all, you know that vellum also adhesives show through. So what I'm taking is a little bit of my liquid glue, a sponge, and it's just a portion of a sponge, putting this on a, um, putting it on my silicone pad, picking it up and sponging it all over the back of my piece. Let's pick that up. I'm doing it on the silicone pad because I know it won't stick to that. And then when it's dried, the glue on there, after it has dried, I can get it off nice and easy. So then we'll put that down and as soon as that liquid glue dries, it will dry clear just like it did on my sample here. Now I have one more heart card I wanna show you, but I did this one a little different, so I wanna show you the difference. So it has this Happy Valentine's Day. This time, instead of doing the little fold, I'm using the full stitched scallop rectangle. I'm gonna run this through the big shot. So my flirty flamingo cardstock comes out like that. And you'll notice the difference with this one, because I have that full scallop, is I just put a folded piece on the background. So this is another option if you don't want to run the double through. This is three and seven eighths inch by five and a half inches, folded at two and three quarters. And we will just fold that right in half, put some adhesive down, and then I will just put this onto the back of my cardstock. Got a little bit of glue on there. I'll have to get my glue eraser and take that off. I'm just trying to center. So you notice I made the cardstock as close to the size of the scalloped piece as I could. Let's just put that down, get to burnish that a little. Okay, and there you go. And so instead of having the folded piece like I have here, I have a piece of Whisper White on the back. One more card, can you believe it? So I did wanna show you a sample of something that you can do, and this uses the coordinating stamp set for this die set. But I think I've given you a lot of ideas today about how you can use this die set without um, this coordinating stamp set. But the coordinating stamp set is very nice. It has some very nice sentiments also. If you wanna see more videos like this, please um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.